On October 9, 2024, India mourned the loss of one of its most influential business leaders, Ratan Tata. A visionary and philanthropist, Tata's passing marks the end of an era. Born on December 28, 1937 in Mumbai, Ratan Tata was the son of Naval and Sunu Tata. After his parents' separation, he and his younger brother, Jimmy, were raised by their grandmother, Nawajbai Tata, in Tata Palace. At 17, Tata left for United States, where he attended Cornell University, earning a degree in architecture in 1962. His years in America, from 1955 to 62, profoundly impacted him, especially his time in California. Ratan Tata had even considered settling down in Los Angeles. However, his grandmother's deteriorating health in India prompted his return to a life he had thought he had left behind. Upon his return to India, Ratan Tata received a job offer from IBM. However, at the insistence of J.R.D. Tata, he joined Tata Industries in 1962. His initial years at Tata Group saw him working across different companies within the conglomerate. He started with Tata Motors, then Telco, for six months, followed by a stint at Tata Steel, then Disco, in 1963, where he worked as a technical officer in engineering division by 1965. Ratan Tata took over the group in 1990, a year before India began deregulating and opening up. Under him, a group that made steel, trucks and chemicals quickly diversified into small cars and information technology. Ratan Tata transformed Tata Group into a global powerhouse, making some of the boldest moves in Indian business history. He spearheaded the group's expansion into global markets acquiring brands like Jaguar Land Rover and Tetley T while pushing into new sectors like technology and automobiles. However, one of the most personal projects was the launch of the Tata Nano in 2009. It was more than just a car for him, a mission. He once saw a family of four precariously riding on a scooter in heavy rain. He was determined to offer a safe, affordable car for Indian families. The Nano was born from that vision. The return of Air India back into Tata Ford was widely seen as a way of honoring his forefathers. His love for animals was one of the most defining aspects of his character. Ratan Tata's connection with his dogs were legendary. He once cancelled an award ceremony at Buckingham Palace because his dog had fallen ill. One of his favorite companions was a stray dog named Gua, who wandered into a colleague's car and ended up staying at Tata's office. Tata's deep affection for animals didn't stop there. In 2023, he opened India's first state-of-the-art small animal hospital in Mumbai, offering specialized care for pets and stray animals. Ratan Tata was also a deeply compassionate man with a heart for philanthropy. His personal contribution has changed countless lives. He donated Rs 500 crore during the COVID-19 pandemic, supported cancer treatment centers, and invested in sustainable living projects across India. He also funded student scholarships and even gave $50 million to Harvard Business School, his alma mater, to nurture future leaders. In the aftermath of deadly 2611 attacks in Mumbai, Ratan Tata set up the Taj Public Service Welfare Trust to help the victims and their families get rehabilitated. The visionary industrialist also invested in a startup that connects senior citizens with young graduates for meaningful friendships. Ratan Tata's contribution extended far beyond the business world. His dedication to philanthropy, particularly in education, healthcare, and rural development has impacted millions of people in India.